All of the supplies I use will be listed below. Taking the ribbon with a little bit of glue on the end, I begin wrapping it around the plastic ring. Once I've reached the beginning again, I put a little more glue on the end to seal it. This part is a little difficult, but if you've ever done a dream catcher before, it'll be easy for you to catch on. Starting underneath the ring, I bring the thread over the ring and then underneath the thread that's inside. Now the process gets a little easier. You will go underneath the thread on the edge and then go over itself and pull tightly. You will continue this process until you reach the center of the ring. I have pre-measured each chain. Now all I need to do is attach the jump rings. I started off by adding two large jump rings to the dream catcher and then two smaller rings to that so that the dream catcher lays flat on the wrist. Then I can add the two chains that'll go around the wrist and then add jump rings to those ends as well. Now I will take a smaller piece of chain and connect it to the larger jump ring with another jump ring and this will connect to the finger piece. Now I take a small jump ring, attach it to the small chain as well as the chain that will go around the finger. Now you can add a clasp and you'll be finished or you can add more chains and have it look even more intricate.